Hi. Have you ever wondered what the early Christians believed about different subjects? I've had this set for a long time, a 10 volume set of the Anti-Nicene Fathers. And they don't quite match because I bought the books individually. Um, but I've often wondered, you know, in my studies, you know, say I'm studying a particular subject, what, what did the um, earliest strata after the apostles, what did they believe about a particular subject? And sometimes I found out that sometimes they support the view that I've taken and sometimes they don't. Um, but it takes a lot of time to try to wade through a lot of material try to figure out if there was any consensus, if this is this particular individual's view, or what. It would be nice if there was a tool out there that would arrange some of this material topically so that we could very quickly access the information and then be able to uh, find out where it's at in um, the anti-Nicene Fathers or the Nicene Fathers, whatever set that you've got, and find out that information quickly. Well, there's something out there like that. We're about to discuss it, but before we do, I'd like you to encourage you to go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in this, these kinds of things. It helps out a lot. So, the thing that I was talking about, the book that I was talking about, is this one. It's a Dictionary of Early Christian Beliefs by David Berceau. Um, and it is something I'd really encourage you to get if you're interested at all in what the early church fathers believed. A lot of times when I'm doing like reviews for Greek New Testaments or other things, I go into a lot of the um, just the physical dimensions of the book and, and things like that because that's something you're going to be reading on a regular basis. But now this is something that's more of like, say, a reference book. And what I want to talk to you more is what does this book have and how can it help you? So this book, let's say you're interested, let's say you're studying um, creation. Um, you're studying Genesis 1 and you're reading, um, you know, different scholars and some say the days are ages and some say that the days are, are um, just regular 24-hour days. And, you know, they quote different people. And, and you're kind of interested, well, what did the early Christians think about that? Did they think the days were long days or short days? Um, or, you know, 24-hour days, whatever. So what, what do you do? Now, you could spend a year or two years or five years or however long it would take to read through all this material. Or you could grab this uh, Dictionary of Early Christian Beliefs. And on this one, on page 189, you turn to it, and you look at days of creation, and then you begin to get a list of what the early church fathers, um, so-called early church fathers, believed about it. Uh, they've got Barnabas and Irenaeus. Um, but look at where he says here, uh, Cyprian. Uh, Cyprian says, The first seven days in the divine arrangement contain... 7,000 years. Okay, well, that's interesting. So, did Cyprian believe that the creation days were long periods of time? Of course, I'm not trying to get into that debate today at all. Uh, but let's just say you're studying the subject and, and you want to find out. Well, then, um, the author has a note here. This is not necessarily talking about the days of creation. What's really neat about this is that he links um, this quotation with the volume and page number where you can find it um, in your set of the Anti-Nicene Fathers. So here he's got volume 5, page 503. So I'll just grab volume 5. I'll turn to page 503. And then I can find out for sure for myself what is the context of Cyprian's quote and does it justify the belief that Cyprian thought that the days were long periods of time in the book of Genesis? Now, like I said, not here to try to persuade you one way or the other on that subject at all. Just want to give you an example of how this particular volume can help you in your studies. If you're interested in what the um, early Christians be, uh, thought about different subjects, this is a great volume to get. I'm going to provide a link for you down below. Um, so that you can click on it. And um, if you're at all interested in this, this is one of 
my favorite tools in my library. It's been a while since I've used it, uh, but when I've been studying different subjects, uh, controversial subjects, it's really interesting to know what the earliest strata of Christians after the apostles believed. So go ahead and check this out. And uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.